The nasty weather couldn't keep the shack from filling up for the Class A Boys State Championship as Red River, playing in its first title game since 2012, took on North, who was ending an even longer drought, 17 years since their last championship. This game turned out to be one of the best in championship game history. Jeremiah Sam is skilled as they come. The junior pulls up for the three. He started out on fire. North keeps it rolling. Welcome Mahoza with a great pass to the post to Carter Zeller. Zeller almost automatic from that spot. Spartans clicking on all cylinders. Here's another from Sam. Spins away from the steal and snipes the twine for three more. North opens the game on a 20-6 run. Red River answers with a 9-0 flurry of its own. Reese Rowcamp from outside. He doesn't miss those much. Carter Byron, well, he did the dirty work all night. He crashes the glass here for one of his game-high five offensive rebounds, scoring on the putback part of his 12. The North closes the first half strong. Matthew Sem looking slippery on this take. What a move by the sophomore, plus the foul. North up 36-28. Then it's older brother's turn. Jeremiah drives baseline and rocks the rim. His head coach, Travis Hogue, among those impressed. Spartans in control to finish the first half, and then here's some icing on the cake. Final seconds before halftime, Matthew Sem, tough defense on him, hits the leaning triple at the horn. North hits the 50 mark in the first half and takes a 14-point lead into the locker room. But Red River proved all postseason that no lead is safe. The Riders overcame an 18-point deficit in the semis, and here they go again. Road Camp dashing through the lane, scores through contact. Then it's the Riders' other top scorer, Zach Kraft in transition. Great finish, and the Sparks start to turn into an all-out inferno. Pierce Parks finds Road Camp on the backdoor cut. Perfect execution, and the lead is all of a sudden down to two thanks to a 19-5 run. With Jeremiah Sam on the bench in foul trouble and a tie game, the Spartans need someone to step up. Zeller answers the call. Great feed from Peter Haugo. The junior converts for two of his 15. Ensuing possession off the miss. Logan Harrison grabs the old board, flips to Kraft. That release is pretty, and it gives Red River a 66-65 lead. Very next possession, Kraft wants a four-point lead instead. The confidence just oozing out of the Rough Riders from down 14 at half to up four, but still eight minutes to go. North gets a momentum-changing play. Matthew Sem intercepts the pass, decides to pull up from deep and hits. The younger Sem hit a trio of threes and finished with 23 points. Both teams just exchanging blows here. Pierce Parks was terrific all night. He gives the Rough Riders back the lead with two of his 19. The dueling continues. Ethan Welk dishes to Matthew, who's money again from outside. North up 79-73. But Kraft hits his fourth triple of the game to make it a one-possession ball game again with 3.30 to go. After scoring just two points in the first half, Kraft erupts for 21 in the second half. Back the other way, North following the miss. The big man strikes again, Zeller, and the lead is back to five. But the action continues to move back and forth like a tennis match. Parks taking his man one-on-one. -on -one. Red River calls timeout, and it's a chance for everyone to catch their breath. Here's where North starts to put it away, though. Jeremiah Sam back in the game, steals the pass, makes the acrobatic finish plus the foul. Fans going crazy. They can taste the victory. Red River running out of gas toward the end of another furious rally. The three won't go. Spartans boarded. And here comes Matthew Sem to seal the deal for the Kings of the North. Fargo North wins it 92-83 to claim the program's first state championship since 2006. This is probably top five experience of my life. I can't believe I got to do this with this group of guys. We just said, keep our heads up. This is a game game of runs and they had runs we had runs but I'm just happy we got to we had the last run and the last laugh man I got in foul trouble I was sitting on the bench I was just trying to get the bench hype get some energy going get the kids on the the court going and Matthew just made stepped up and made some big shots first half I was I was a little rough I wasn't hitting my shots so I just had to get to the hoop and my three-pointers started falling so I just let start letting it fly and the crowd was feeling it the bench was getting lit so we just felt that energy Maybe what a lot of people don't know across the state is the junior class of these guys. I've been working with them, coaching them since like fifth grade. In our SYBA youth, uh, youth uh, stuff in the school year and then taking them uh, around the Midwest and they played in a lot of really critical games, big shows, you know, high energy uh, games and, and I knew they'd be ready. I knew they'd be ready tonight. They've been in big games before as youth, like little kids, 12, 13, 14 year old kids, you know, so. I, I trusted him with everything in here I got, so. Travis is like a, is like a father figure to me, man. He just helped me out and I can't, I can't describe what he does for me, man. 
He's, he's put his heart into it. He's put everything into it, and it just means a lot. Always, always holding me to a high standard. Always holding everyone to high standards, and this is why we're here today.